everybody out there. This is Mr. Slomka, and I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, radioactive half-lives. It's kind of a strange concept. It's, it's especially strange because you can't really work or touch something that's radioactive because it would do terrible things to you. So here's a little concept for you. So let's pretend that this piece of paper right here is our radioactive isotope, and it's giving off all kinds of crazy radiation, and it's getting all kinds of crazy on us. So what's going to happen is our half-lives are going to change the way that that uh, isotope looks. And basically what's going to happen is it, whatever amount of time that your half-life may be, whether it be two hours or, or ten minutes or, or a hundred years or, or even a, a half a second, what it's going to do is it's going to take the power of this isotope right here and it's going to cut it in half. So let's do that right here. So we're going to cut this guy in half. And basically what that does is that takes your isotope and it makes it half as much as it once was. So what now I have half right here. So after one half-life, this is what I'm left with. All this other piece is gone. After another half-life happens, you're going to end up with exactly half of what you had right here. So I'm going to take my picture right here and I'm going to cut it in half one more time. So now this is all I have. So it's getting, getting pretty weak. Okay, and then next what you're going to do is you're going to cut it in half again. So I'm going to come back through here and I'm going to cut this guy one more time. And as you can tell, things are getting real small now, and we're going to cut it again. One more half-life comes through, and so they get small. And we can even do another half-life. That's going to come through right here and cut it again. And we can do another half-life if you want, right there. Oh man, things are getting really small now. And then we can do another half-life. And we have a tiny, tiny, tiny little piece of paper now, but we can still cut it in half. And I think that's a very, very important observation. Even though this guy is getting extremely, extremely tiny, we can still continue to cut it in half. So even this, this guy right here it would fit on top of a pencil, but I can still cut it in half again if I wanted to. So. That is kind of a good idea of what how Half-Life works. Now let's kind of review a little bit if you t paid close attention. Um, what we did is we started off with a big piece of paper and we started off by cutting off a really big chunk. So it got cut in half and this half is really, really big. And then we cut off another pretty big chunk again. Okay, then we cut off a smaller chunk and a little bit smaller and a little bit smaller. And then we got to a point where we were cutting off some really, really, really small chunks. So these guys right here, these are some really, really small chunks that we were cutting off. And um, that's what happens to the power of our isotopes. They get pretty weak after a couple of half-lifes, and then, um, then, and then they're, they're safe for us to touch and to handle. And that's what we have for half-lifes. Thank you for watching.